Ginkgo trees at Highland Hill Farm. This is a picture of ginkgos that we're growing. If you'd like to go out and see them, just give us a call. We like growing ginkgo trees because they have a fantastic history to them. They are from China, where they were originally discovered. They are a gymnosperm tree that is a deciduous tree. It's one of the last ones that kind of looks like a broadleaf, but is not a, a true broadleaf because it's a monocot. Then after they were discovered in China, they were brought over to the United States and they found quite a number of niches. One is that it's a very exotic plant. There's lots of history. People do talk about it. Another use is that uh, they are a very tough and sturdy plant. They can take street trees and areas where there's lots of people walking through it. They can take a lot of abuse and still keep on growing very nicely. One of the stories I was told was that the reason that the ginkgo can take such brutal environments is the fact that it's where it was growing in China there was a lot of mice and the mice over there in China they like to gnaw on the wood and they would go over a gnaw on the ginkgos growing over there naturally and over many generations of them not constantly getting gnawed at the tree has been able to grow through major injuries such as girdling of the marks. At my school there was a great big ginkgo tree. My school that I went to was Delaware Valley College. A, a deranged student got mad at this big ginkgo tree and one night took a big chainsaw and went around and girdled the entire tree. Well if you girdle most of the trees in our area like maples or oaks or cherries, birches, you pretty much killed the tree. So this great big tree, ginkgo tree, which just got girdled with a chainsaw and the school flipped out. They're like, this massive great big ginkgo tree must be saved. We're going to have to do something to save it. So the professors at school decided, oh, we can save it by making a bridge graft on it. A bridge graft is you take bark from one tree and you relocate it onto another tree. And they did a whole bunch of bridge grafting trying to save the tree. And to their dismay, all the bridge grafting that they all tried all failed. And they thought the tree was going to be lost. Lo and behold, the tree that they didn't suspect, the tree started to grow new callus wood over where the injury was. And by itself, it fused and grafted itself back together and all the, all the staff and faculty were all so happy because the tree survived the chainsaw massacre and didn't get killed by the chainsaw. So it's a very resilient tree. Many places that you find ginkgo trees and you should find ginkgo trees is in street plantings because if a car goes over and bumps it or a kid goes over and climbs it, it's not going to get hurt and it can take the pollution of the cities very very well. We do sell lots of ginkgo trees because of the history. They're a very tough plant and they're also very nice looking. If you look at the leaf of the ginkgo, it's also called the maiden hair tree because of the fan of the leaf that it has. It's a very nice looking leaf. It's actually a monocot, so if you look at it, you should see parallel veins in it. It's not truly parallel, but they never really cross one another, so that's what they call it. Uh, ginkgos, when they go into the fall, their leaves start to turn yellow and they turn yellow all about the same time and they all fall off the tree all about the same time. My professor says it takes about a week of it being all nice yellow and then all, they should all fall off at the same time. Um, maybe you should get a couple just to experiment so you can see if it works out for yourself. We have lots of different sizes of ginkgos available. It's a nice plant. Go take a look at it. If you have any questions, just give us a call. Our cell phone number is 215-651-8329. Thank you. This video is brought to you by Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell screening and buffering trees for privacy and sound barriers. When you come to Highland Hill Farm, you're welcome to bring your dogs. They will be happy when they're free at Highland Hill Farm. You can bring your dogs when you're going to get Christmas trees 
or if you're a hunter and you're hunting rabbits, bring your beagles and your potaringas and have fun hunting rabbits while you're at Highland Hill Farm. We enjoy you having fun when you're here at Highland Hill Farm, and we will keep a stock of ready supply of doggy treats. So don't worry, your dog will have fun at Highland Hill. He may get a little muddy, he may get a little dirty, but he will go home happy. 